Okay, we're underway at Tropical Island Pass for Hank. Once again, it's just tucked below the screen, but there's a Yurion revealed in the bottom right. So this is a Yurion companion build. Either spell bomb on turn one for raid cast. Um, brainstorm for Hank. End step brainstorm? Or is this main phase brainstorm? <laughs> Main phase. Whew. Thank goodness. Unholy heat. Very good. John, drop. Take three. Oh, no. John. No, I'll be playing against John J. Thank you. Somebody J. They were on Gats. Yeah. Um, two. Two. Yeah. Take two. Uh, 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 Here's Emery, Lurker of the Lock. As Audrey points out in the chat, when David plays 8-cast, it feels like a completely different deck. David has been dominating for the last couple of months with this 8-cast deck. What Bowmaster? What Bowmaster? I'm pretending David says. <laughs> Who gives a damn about Bowmaster? Dominating with this deck for months at this point. Doesn't give a damn about Bowmasters. <laughs> yeah, David M is the end boss. I think that's a great way to put it. Every week at the top of the standings, the monthlies, top of the standings. I forgot to shut off my AC again. I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep forgetting today. All right, prismatic ending removes Emery. Everything on the stream should sound a bit better now. Thank you. Uh, okay, so a replacement Emery comes in. Thought Monitor, Urza's Bobble, Urza's Saga, and another Urza's Bobble. Okay. There is a Kappa Cannoneer in the yard. That could be a problem if it ever resolves. Urza's Saga comes in. Pretty good. Yeah, maybe forgot to attack there. Maybe. Yeah. We were just talking about during the break, players making mistakes. Um, and I, I appreciate people that, you know, jump into the comment section and point out missed, missed opportunities for, for, uh, for the players, misplays, whatever. Um, but, even, but even the most solid players I know make, make mistakes during... Especially competitive matches. Let's see here. I'm not going to get It just happens. Early this year, back in, what was that, January or February, I covered, I covered a Legacy 10K for this channel. Um, in. 
New Jersey, I believe. And um, I was standing by the top tables all day, recording matches. It's all up on our YouTube channel. You can go watch the SEG 10Ks on our, on our YouTube channel. Um, but even the matches I wasn't recording, I'm spectating. Mistakes everywhere. That's just that. That's, that's just that's just how the game goes. Miss triggers, the usual stuff. It really gives you an appreciation for when you watch like you know, two of the top players in the world play on the Pro Tour, and neither of them really make any mistakes whatsoever. And that's what makes those games extra enjoyable to watch for me. The level of play is like otherworldly. Uh, here you go. All right, I will go to the forward. Uh, that's what they suck. It prevents uh, all damage or what? All damage, yep. Okay. Uh, you can trap. Urza Saga has ticked up to two. Yeah, everybody has a has an aspect of their game they're trying to improve. Even the top players. Chalice on one resolves. Patchwork Automaton gets in there. Well, next extra plus one plus one counter this time. Urza Saga with Ancient Tomb can create a construct potentially. Hank does not find a miracle. Here is the one ring. Force pitch thought monitor, force back pitching Uro. Coca says going to happen in a format as large as Legacy. I punted away a top eight recently because of a misplay, but I sure did learn from it. Yeah. We've all been there. Flash says people go to cheating really fast in Magic if a small mistake is made. Yeah, pe people are maybe wary of cheating. Uh, yeah. Doesn't really bother me. Sometimes on stream we'll have like an extra card drawn or, you know, some kind of, if it was at the Pro Tour level would be, uh, you know, a, a big violation, right? They'd make a big deal about it. But, um, you know, most of the matches you see on this channel are from Legacy Weeklies. I know all the people well for years, most of them. And I just feel like, you know, if, if you think people are j trying to cheat, you think they, if you think they give a damn enough about these games to cheat, it's like, eh, I don't know, what, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I don't really care. Uh, 
So a Shadow Spear, two Constructs, Patchwork, Thought Monitor, Chalice on one still live. Plenty of stuff on David's side. Protection protected Hank just for a turn, but at 14 life needs a way to stay alive. What will this be? And then the constructs are, I believe, one, two, three, seven sevens. I'll go to the Scotty says 100% you're going to look out for it more if the stakes are high. Yeah, I mean, if I'm playing Magic for a lot of money, not only will I be more careful with my own plays, take a moment, take a beat longer to think about what I'm doing, but I'll be extra wary of people trying to get over on me, for sure. I mean, why wouldn't you? Yeah, I'm technically supposed to uh, play another rule of law effect here, but like, whatever. Um, yeah, so when he enters, all my creatures get plus one plus up. Oh shit, that's a cycle. Yeah. I've never seen the white cycle. At the same time, it's true that you know, if you're if you're gonna play an event, you owe it to everybody not to be sloppy and careless and make mistakes that don't need to happen, right? So, you know, some balance. As to you. Right. Targeted. Yeah. But I don't lose any sleep about it. Misty getting cracked here for Hank. Still hasn't really affected the board in any big way. Just gained some life with Uro. Um, what's the plan we had some discussion in our discord join the discord if you're not in the discord links are all over the place about fourth ear lingus versus comet um, comet stellar pup is apparently coming to mtgo I know Hank's current deck that we're watching right now has fourth year Lingus in it. Is Comet better? I don't know. On the current board, I don't know what I'd rather have. Probably Comet. All right, so Uro has escaped. Sometimes he's just resolve Comet and the game ends. But maybe baseline average fourth is better. High train conductor Harry says fourth is better. Odawara bouncing Uro. I mean, I can't do anything, yeah? But if I see your great Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, I'll get uh, a thing new. Thank you. Ooh, <laughs> dirty dog. Oh, yeah, I'll really. I'll name it as you can say. Uh, I'll let you see what's going on. All right. So I can't uh, oh, yeah. All right, big attack coming in. I don't see how Hank gets out of this one. All right, that is the game. Game one goes to eight cast. Drop pass. But I would also like maybe it depends on the build. I played like mono white with like two and four. Ancient tomb, patchwork automaton. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty pretty fascinating. What did that do? Uh, I didn't play it with that. But bubble trigger probably should. I didn't play it a lot because I I like the. I think we're going to get Urza's legacy. 
What would it do? Coco with a great question. Does anyone know Modern Horizon 2's current win rate in Legacy? Yeah, it, it's got to be like 85%, right? We don't want a Mercadian mass card. We don't want that. We didn't ask for that. Do I have plans for SEG Pittsburgh or Eternal Weekend? I have plans for none of it. Does anybody watching have plans? Thought Monitor, Soul Guide, Force of Negation, and Mox Opal. Okay. <laughs> Audrey plans to not be there. Aldi says it's live match. Yeah. Are we, li are we live, everybody? Terminus has hit the stack. Force of Negation. Pitching Thought Monitor. <laughs> Somebody's watching this on Facebook right now asking themselves, is this live? Force of will pitching brainstorm. So it seems like Terminus is going to resolve. Emery and Patrick go on the bottom. Bottom of their library. Mystic Sanctuary tapped pass. Am I opposed to going to Pittsburgh events or you have no plans? I'm I'm not opposed to anything, I just have no plans. <laughs> Force pitching thought monitor. Interferi appears to be countered. Urza Saga ticks up to two. Hank, who we're watching right now, I was talking to Hank uh, two days ago, made the finals of the most recent Eternal Weekend North America Legacy event. Has one of those ponders. Hank is a hero. <laughs> Life from the loam. All right, Damon, I appreciate that. All right, resolving chapter three of Urza Saga once again. Uh, 
The one ring has been named with needle. We know Hank has those in the deck, and now it's shut off with needle. These constructs are getting bigger and bigger. Here's Thoughtcast. Where's the saga? Attacking for, I believe, five here. And it's getting swords. All right, two planeswalkers and a trop. Not very exciting for Dredge. The only land in the yard now is trop. Casting loam. Okay, so this may mean that Hank doesn't really have a lot going on. Maybe looking for double green for Seeds of Innocence? Meltdown is in the deck, I believe. Another thought cast. Pretty good. All right, swing for five. You're at twelve. Patchwork automaton in the yard. Emery is on the board once again. Ancient Tomb can power Urza's Saga. Uh, seven. So I'll deal you. Seas of Innocence revealed. Okay. It's pretty good. So if I if you block, I get lattice. All right, taking a regular draw here is Hank. Seas of Innocence might be about to hit the stack. The One Ring. Okay. Still get protection despite needle on One Ring. Force of Negation, pitching Force of Will. Okay. Maybe Hank just trying to uh, draw out force here, but isn't the second construct lethal? One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, I believe it's lethal. What do I think about Sultai Scam and Legacy? Um, it sounds interesting. I haven't played it myself or played against it. Uh, actually, I did play against it. I did play against it. It, it seems fine. And um, I'm team Leovold, so. Leovold would be my commander if I had a commander. Soul Guy Lantern comes in, exile. Life from the Loam with Emery. <laughs> that is the match. David gets it. <laughs> 